I had a house. Uh, my husband worked every day. He injured his back and had to miss quite a bit of work. He had to have back surgery. And when rent went sky high, from 1000 to 1500 we had to face our worst fear, which was not having a place of our own. Me, I didn't want anybody knowing I was homeless. I told people because I needed help. And I had to swallow my pride and say, my kids need help. So we moved into a house that was already being rented by a family member and they were there and it was a little two bedroom, one bath place and it was me and my husband, the four kids, my uh, family member and our dogs. And it was hard for us because we were so used to having our own place. We had a place that was 2400 square feet in Northport. It had a pool and it was, you know, we had enough room for everything and instead all of our stuff ended up on a back porch which most of it got ruined. So everything that I owned that I could fit into a storage unit, we put in the storage unit and I went to go stay with the family member that had rented the house in the first place because they bought a place that's a little manufactured trailer in, in the middle of a 55 plus community and everybody there was under 55. <laughs> It's, it's a matter of personal space. You don't get it. And there is no privacy when you're in a home that's small and only supposed to be for one or two people and there's 10 or 12 there. They've said many times they're very, very close to evicting the person we're staying with who of course says, I have nowhere to go, so if I have nowhere to go and then you have nowhere to go, we're all going to be on the street. And so when it got to a point where they were upset with us, we'd go to a hotel for a couple of days. When I would call to ask about rent, renting somewhere that is in an area that I would think would be safe for my kids, they didn't want to take help from a agency because they thought that, oh, I'm not going to pay my rent if I need help to move into somewhere. Sarasota County is a great county to live in if you can afford it. It's been hard, but I went to every elementary school and I didn't make any lifelong friends as a little kid because I had to move so many times. I didn't want that for them. Um, they've suffered for the, the the situation. I mean, they're really smart too, and the teachers have already said that they're a little bit behind. Because right now there's nothing. There's nowhere for them to go. I can't say go sit in the room. There's no room. Uh, we didn't get to have a birthday party for them because we were staying in hotels. I don't want anything bad to happen to them. And right now, a lot of stuff has been bad.